you're still using three lines of code to create your machine learning models. 99% of the learners do the same thing, expecting to land a job. But is it really possible? Absolutely no. But the landscape is shifting to MLOps. What is MLOps? Let's imagine that you're creating a beautiful city. So to understand this in terms of ML terminology, writing those three lines of code is like making a beautiful building in your city. But do you think that a single building is useful in that whole city? You need roads, you need functionalities, you need security system to make a fully developed city. And here enters MLOps. It makes sure that your ML model, as in this case of example of building, is connected with electricity, is connected with security system, and etc and also improving over time ml is not just only about building a model it's also about making the model useful and reliable to summarize our example that companies don't want standalone buildings they want fully functional cities so that's why you need to learn mlops this will act as a superpower and put you in a top one percent of data science learners and that will definitely act as a cream on top of your resume which is so common nowadays in most of the companies and startups out here. So you might ask where to learn MLOps? What's the particular roadmap? First step is that you have a solid base in machine learning and data science. I published a comprehensive core machine learning course specifically targeted regression analysis on my YouTube channel. Once you have the core of it, which is the most important part for a machine learning model, the next step is learning about software development life cycle. And software development life cycle comes in several steps. You need to actually understand the theory part of it, which is like requirement gathering analysis, design, testing, implementation, and all the things which comes into that place. It really acts as one of the most important thing in your MLOps journey because this is what sets up the base of machine learning. As I always say that base is the power. I have linked very nice resources inside the description down box below or in the GitHub repository, which we have prepared especially for you. The next step is to learn about DevOps. Yes, you heard me right. You might be thinking, hey Ayush, what's the need of CICD? I'm not a DevOps guy. But nowadays, it's compulsory to have a basic knowledge of DevOps if you want to add a creamy layer on top of your machine learning journey, which includes wide set of tools and technologies such as Git and GitHub for versioning systems, CICD pipeline, and infrastructure as a code. I've linked a very nice resources again in the comment box below. Now you need to learn about the basics and the core of MLOps, which is mostly ignored by most of the people out here. The first which you have to learn is about data versioning. I'm not going to get in details about what is data versioning and all, but the basic description it's about, there can be some changes in your data and you need also the previous data before the changes, keeping track of your changes in the data, whether it be previous or after. So that's the data versioning. And there's wonderful tool, which is very important to learn, which is data versioning version control, which is a tool and the best resource are in the GitHub repository. The next step is model versioning. It's about keeping track of your several ML models. You train several ML models. You have you tweak the parameters. You do a lot of experiments. Now you need to track all of these experiments and that's where model versioning comes in place. And again, tools like MLflow and DVC would surely be so much handy in this place. So I would recommend you learn both of them. The resources are again in GitHub repository. Now you need to package your model so anyone can just use that package thing to deploy in several environments. I know it's too technical, but again, if you learn it, it will be very easy. For this, you learn about Docker, which is again, you will most probably learn in DevOps journey as well. However, Docker will be used so much over here in packaging of your machine learning models. Now you need to validate your model that is working super fine and test it. And this is super important before you deploy your model into real world. So for this, you use TFX or PyCarrot to do this task. And again, links are in the GitHub. And another one, which is continuous integration in machine learning and continuous deployment in machine learning. It first of all integrates if there's any code changes and then deploys automatically if there's any things occur in your development side. And for deployment, you have Azure DevOps as well as Jenkins and GitHub Actions. And the next, which is the second last, which is model retraining and monitoring. The reason why we need to retrain our model or monitor our model to see if our model is performing well, even on real world data set, and if there's need to retrain the model with updated data set. Right? So you have several tools for this, which is model DB, MLflow, TFX would surely work in this case. And at last, but not the least, it's about governance and regulatory compliance, which you have to comply with all the like data considerations and GDPR guidelines and also ethnic considerations and a lot of things which comes in this place. And for this, I recommend IBM open pages, which is the most general one. And this is very 
very very important step in your machine learning journey so by now you might have learned everything which is required for you to get started in your project journey you have to apply your learnings which you have learned whatever in your ml ops journey so how to get started with building projects should i just suggest you some of the names of the project which you should do absolutely not what i'll do i'll give you a trick or a way that you can generate unlimited projects in a matter of no seconds but that projects will be impactful as well so what do i uh, simply recommend is first of all you should pick up at least 10 companies which may be mnc's or startup funded companies which have a job description of machining engineering role or ml ops role or data scientist role literally anything now what you do you simply have your job description take the prompt which is given in the description box in the template which we have given copy that and then paste the job description just below that prompt and then give to the chat gpt it will return the set of projects that is generated according to the roles and responsibilities of the companies along with the percentage of how much chance if you do that project you will get into that company now you have set of projects to do that right so you show all your capabilities all your things out there which is pretty dope step to actually understand that you can also ask chat gpt for what is the action plan to complete that project if you select to do that project what you can also do if you have time constraints ask chat gpt to combine all the projects into ones and then take help from chat gpt and get started with the project this is one of the finest thing that you do because company wants to see what they want not what you want so it's very important and you can never ever learn something by just seeing it right you have to actually practice it and that's where you become the expert. So apply all the things which you have learned into that project, as well as uh, take help from online, take help from ChatGPT, and then build that stunning project, which will make your resume look so much good. Again, all the resources are in the description on box below. Please go there, give a start to the GitHub repository, and I really hope that you like that. And as well as if you're interested about learning core machine learning and ML ops, you can simply check out the course, which is in the link in the description on box below. It is pretty nice course prepared in two years and also I have a credibility. I've worked as MLOps engineer at one of the fastest growing MLOps framework, which is ZenML. So you should just go ahead and check out the course as well if you're interested in that. Tab de ke liye. I'll see you later. Bye bye.